Hey, good Thursday morning, my friends. We made it to Thursday. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. A couple of rains to track in this forecast and also some uh, warmer temperatures, it looks like, as we head toward the end of July, shaping up uh, kind of hot at times with a few breaks in the action. All right, so radar showing not much going on around Michigan, maybe just an isolated shower at the moment in northern lower Michigan, but look back to uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota. That's where the showers are, and those will start to become more common, it looks like, tonight into tomorrow as we see those storms and showers move toward the southeast. There it is, right there on the satellite picture. You can see back in the Minnesota. So we're going to have you know, some sun today, increasing clouds in the afternoon, and a couple of storm systems lined up off to the west. All right, the radar forecast shows that uh, southern Michigan, most of lower Michigan stays dry all day today. Uh, I would, you know, wouldn't be surprised in the evening for a couple of stray showers, but nothing that I think you have to worry about too much. Then we go into tonight and uh, showers start to increase someone. That's six in the morning tomorrow. So showers start to increase uh, along the coastline and spread inland toward Mount Pleasant and Alma and uh, Saginaw and Bay City. Tomorrow morning, showers uh, probably diminishing at that time of the day, 10, 11 in the morning, moving across the state through Saginaw and maybe Lansing and Jackson, and eventually maybe a shower around Ann Arbor and Detroit by Friday afternoon. So nothing real robust there or long lasting. And then Saturday looks like it could be on the stormy side. This is Friday night, and this is Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Timing could be off on that, but the point being is a cold front will be moving through, or a, I guess I should say a valid weather maker, and that Saturday we will likely have to deal with some showers and thunderstorms across the entire state. Now remember, my thing about this kind of weather pattern is that it's, Oh, sorry. Let me go back and show you again. Okay, uh, so show you again on the rainfall forecast. This is this afternoon. And again, isolated shower possible. And then we go into towards sunrise tomorrow. The showers build some Grand Rapids up north to uh, Benzie County and then slowly move across the state. Not real robust. Bye, honey. Love you too. Um, not real robust on Friday. Spotty shower. And then Saturday is when we'll watch for a better chance of showers and thunderstorms. All right. Here's the extended, so we'll look at Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and Saturday night. So basically, batches of thunderstorms moving southeast across the state. Sunday, I would say, looks dry, even though the European hangs showers back. Remember, we had that same thing uh, last weekend, and we saw that they actually move out usually quicker than what the European says on the backside of the storm. And now we get into Monday and Tuesday. So we're definitely, uh, we're definitely going to need a rain here. And then we get into another one by Wednesday. So we're in a pattern basically of looking at a, a rain, a complex of thunderstorms coming from the Northwest about every two or three days. Today's highs, about 80 degrees, maybe a few spots in the low 80s. Tomorrow into the low 80s in a lot of spots, depending on if you have a shower in the middle part of the day. And then Saturday, uh, temperatures in, well, we'll call, we'll call it like 83 to 86 degrees. Sunday, nearing 90 in many spots, if not touching 90. Monday also around 90-ish. And Tuesday, the southern half of the state, around 90. So we're going to have about three days in a row of 90-degree temperatures in the, in the classic MLive viewing area, the southern half of the state. Uh, Wednesday, with that thunderstorm complex, maybe cooling down a touch into Thursday. 
and then Friday and Saturday. And you can see that everything is kind of showing that about 10 days out, we start to see a bigger 90 degree plus area building in the middle part of the country. And eventually, um, eventually we could uh, have a sustained period, you know, three, four days or so of low to mid 90s, a little bit more substantial of a heat wave. So that would probably come in, you know, the last, very last part of July, first week of August. Uh, so the heat is definitely not done. The heat is still there. And in fact, when we're looking at those low to mid 90s, they may be looking at about 100 to 105 just to our west in Illinois and parts of Iowa. But for now, we have some very nice summer weather mixed with some thunderstorms. We need the thunderstorms. And bear in mind, when you're seeing that on your app, you know, thunderstorm, 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 thunderstorm. No, it's not an all day type rain. It's not a rain every one of those days. It's a thunderstorm complex. It blows through for one, two hours or so. Uh, and now Orchard Lake Fine Art Fair is on Saturday. Is it a rain out? No, and again, that's what I want to emphasize is that you could have a period where you don't want to be outside, but you could have probably more dry hours in a day on Saturday than wet hours. Hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Take care.